I'm Dr. Charles O'Mara. I'm a vascular surgeon here at Mississippi Baptist Medical Center, and we are in room 25, which is otherwise known as the hybrid room, recently completed construction for a hybrid operating room suite. The term hybrid has to do with a combination of radiographic imaging techniques with an operating room environment, thus allowing for procedures to be done that require very sophisticated radiographic imaging techniques with fluoroscopy in combination with open surgical technique and an environment that's conducive to doing both of those uh, components uh, extremely well. In terms of this being an operating suite environment, this has all of the characteristics of a typical operating room with a standard OR lighting, ceiling mounted, um, and anesthesia equipment for general anesthetic administration, monitoring devices for hemodynamic uh, uh, monitoring of blood pressure and other vital signs during the operation. Um, and also a very spacious environment for the variety of different uh, equipment needs that are necessary for a full open surgical environment, as well as the personnel involved in doing uh, many of the open procedures. In addition, the room incorporates the very latest technology for radiographic imaging with uh, C-arm fluoroscopy, uh, having been the standard in the past, that for us was a was a uh, mobile unit that we brought into the room. It provided uh, versatility, but it did not have the uh, imaging resolution and imaging capabilities of a standard cath lab imaging suite. Um, on the other hand, the equipment in this hybrid room entails that sophisticated imaging equipment. This is a Philips Allura uh, FD20 system that involves, uh, as you can see, a, uh, an imaging uh, uh, C-arm adjacent to the operating table. And it has fairly remarkable responsiveness to various uh, imaging orientations that are required during operations. Um, you can see that the table, uh, which is also an integral part of this entire hybrid environment, has the feature of being completely free-floating over the extent of the table where the patient is lying and in that area of the body that needs to be imaged for the procedure. And the table is uh, very responsive. It uh, is controlled by a panel attached to the side of the table during an operation or a hybrid procedure. A drape covers the patient, of course, for sterility, but the, a plastic see-through portion of the drape allows for this control panel to be easily accessible by the operating team, thus providing very quick and, and responsive um, uh, maneuvers of the C-arm and, and of the table itself. Um, this demonstrates some of the maneuvers of the imaging equipment. You can see the, the imaging uh, tube, it, the flat screen imaging device uh, goes quickly from a, from a portrait to a landscape orientation. Um, the uh, unit itself will take an orientation of a variety uh, of different methods in order to have optimal imaging for the operation at hand. The table itself uh, also is very responsive. Um, it will cradle side to side very easily. Um, and it will also tilt to provide orientations that are appropriate to the operation being done. And then it will automatically, with one button, come back to a standard uh, preset orientation. 
This gives you a little idea of how responsive the equipment is and, and also entails safety features. Uh, for example, there is a sensing device on the edge of the flat screen imaging part of the, of the equipment that will not allow the, the imaging plane to abut against the patient. This is as a safety feature, so if if the machine is brought down near the patient, it will stop automatically and it will not go further in order to avoid impinging on the patient. Hybrid operations uh, are a term that, as I mentioned earlier, involves a combination of sophisticated radiographic techniques in combination with open surgery to accomplish procedures that um, often involve uh, endovascular revascularization, such as stenting, and that's done under x-ray control with this sophisticated uh, imaging equipment in combination with open surgical techniques for bypass operation, and that is accomplished in an environment of open surgery with a full uh, surgical team approach. The combination of these uh, two being done together uh, in a setting like this, the advantage is offered by the fact that the optimal imaging equipment is available and it's in a standard operating room setting as well. This initially was thought of in terms of hybrid vascular operations or peripheral artery revascularization, such as a combination of iliac artery stenting with a femoral popliteal bypass being done in a patient who needed revascularization at two different levels in order to achieve satisfactory restoration of blood circulation to the legs. In addition, the hybrid approach has been uh, in, uh, brought to, to uh, uh, useful circumstances in repair of abdominal aortic aneurysms and repair of thoracic aortic aneurysms, which now are commonly performed with an endovascular technique that involves a small incision in each groin for the placement under x-ray control with this sophisticated imaging equipment the placement of an endograft or stent graft across the area of the aneurysm, whether it be in the abdomen or the chest, to allow a sealing of the aneurysm out of the circulation and thereby to repair the aneurysm without the need for a long incision on the abdomen or the chest. In addition to the the, this room being used for hybrid operations. It also has the versatility of being able to be used for strictly open surgical procedures, and that can be done easily by this table rotating and then moving out of the center of the operating room, which leaves an entire operating area for a standard OR table to be used for a regular open surgical procedure. In addition, the room can be used for percutaneous procedures, typically done in the cath lab, but uh, that can also be done in this environment as well. One other unique advantage of our situation here at the Baptist with this room is this hybrid operating room is located in the operating room suite of the hospital. It also is located immediately adjacent to the cath lab. There is a connection, a small corridor between the two, the cath lab and this hybrid room, in which there are, is a storage facility for the equipment that is needed from an endovascular standpoint, whether we're performing a procedure percutaneously, either in the cath lab or in the hybrid room, or whether we're performing an open operation that requires a hybrid approach with endovascular supplies immediately available to this room and to the cath lab immediately adjacent. One other important feature of this hybrid room has to do with the personnel involved. It is an operating room setting and of course anesthesiologists are involved in the open operations that require general anesthesia. In addition, the surgical team from a standard operating room setting are uh, essential for the open surgical part. 
and also the cath lab uh, personnel located immediately adjacent to this hybrid room are essential in the, much of the endovascular part of the procedure and it in fact has provided an environment in which we have enjoyed the benefit of cross-pollination of knowledge and skills from the cath lab personnel to the operating room personnel and back in the other direction as well. So it's altogether been a very beneficial environment and atmosphere for applying these operations in the best possible way for patient care.